<laughs> okay. The team moving forwards with the next stage of events. Uh, midnight. Well, night time. After finding out that maybe the bag of metal might have been useful money money wise jupiter was more or less accosted with criminals saying hey where's our bag yeah. uh your team decided to stay uh we'll go get your bag just wait here and we'll all go they weren't really up for that so they said no uh so a fight ensued uh soon enough your team did manage to take them out which was good uh, they left beaten up and bruised, but alive. Uh, they did say if they don't get their money back, we will hunt you down. So it better be where you said it was. Uh, as they left, uh, more or less like a few minutes afterwards, a giant white stag broke the back, <laughs> uh, of the building. Uh, stated something along the lines of finally I have found you tomorrow at noon you shall face trial and judgment and before anyone else could say anything it simply stated I have spoken and then broke the right wall <laughs> of the building quite dramatic uh, quite dramatic yes uh, Jupiter is still cursed but alive uh, Dookie is fine, and the church opens up at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, the bartender did state, you're welcome to stay the night since you did pay for repairs. Uh, but by tomorrow morning, please leave. Would rather not have more problems in my establishment. Um, question for something, a little bit of, not retconning, but <clears throat> when the stag was here... Did we get the impression that it was talking to just Jupiter, or that it was also talking to Dookie? Mm, you can roll insight. Okay. It's been talking to me. Oh, I don't know. Oh, love. Uh, could have been Dookie, could have been you, could have been Jupiter, could have been the entire team. Just it was easier to yeah. find one of you, because one of you still cursed, maybe. Maybe. But but the way it sounded though, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go after any of you, if you're part of the same team that destroyed the pixie village. I didn't know such thing. I was picking flowers. <laughs> I was picking mushrooms. Oh wait, the spell that, is that was the problem. Enough to destroy yeah. anything. <laughs> wait, did you all did you all destroy something else on the way here? I think the biggest question is: is that a Deer or a dog? I don't think I'm that's pretty sure husband. that's a large dog, but I think everything is a large <gasps> dog. Do I know if like we destroyed something on the way into this town? I don't I'd... think we. I, I don't think we do, do we? No. Uh, like the a dog. No, this. The hints and clues that you guys would have. Uh, I think. Uh, Nina or Jupiter would have the most knowledge here, but it's also Nina and Jupiter that have the most knowledge here. Oh, I do have a lot of knowledge, surprisingly. I am smart, too. When you when you got lost on your way here, mm -hmm. what, yeah. what what did you do? I sat Something on else? the throne. You took a shortcut what? straight through he the woods. Dogs. And did you encounter he took anybody? A shortcut. He we went and got on a throne. Feet. Looked like a toilet. Yeah. Did you encounter anyone who was mad with that you? look like dogs mixed with deer. We mixed met, with we, I made friends with a dog, but Hello. the dog was like not really a dog. It was not answer my dog. question. Looked like a whippet. <laughs> Did uh, you look like make a whippet? anyone mad? What? Neat. Whoever was mad is dead. It doesn't I'm matter. I'm not oh. saying that you guys made these people mad, but you did the encounter uh, the. They died. A priest of the uh, poverty church, the oh that, uh, madam of the orphanage. No, I mean before they came into this town. Oh, before oh, when they were in the tiny woods, they hung that had a long fingers. finger. 
Oh yeah, that too. And the <laughs> flower system. Uh, all right. Showing off its finger to me, taunting me to eat it. It flew away. Only had one finger. Right in the middle. Right. Um. It, it's real bit. I, I do think you need to speak up because you're the only person that tells the truth. I was just honestly waiting to see what the others would say. Um, Nothing useful, clearly. Yeah. What? Nothing I'd believe either. Uh, <laughs> what? I would say I'm quite trusting. I'm just a little bit... I wouldn't lie to you at all. We did come across... No, you just don't necessarily think the same thing. Uh, throne and I think flower I think. system. Uh, flower system? some strange flower and throne system. Uh, mm -hmm. Jupiter sat on it, causing the flower to bloom, uh, and mm -hmm. summon things out from it. Uh, we fought the things a few here and there, some like weird man faced dog things, and like a strange pixie that popped out, shouted towards points towards Jupiter and uh, Dookie, uh, but saying, I, I finally found you. Yeah, but I think that she was saying that because she knows that, like, I said I was sorry. And she was like, I found you in your apology. Uh, as they left, they flipped them off. What happened. Uh, then Jupiter spoke with the, one of the man-faced dogs to have them not attack them anymore. Only Dookie could flip himself off. Hmm. Is that really what happened? I think right, so. Right, a little bit. Do you think that this white stag is connected to the first group of fairies that cursed these? I can answer that. Or do you think that this is potentially another group of individuals who wants to hurt them? At this point in time, it could be two new groups, but it's oh probably the same. Oh my god. Do you see how easy that was to answer that question? Mm. I can answer well, it, yes. I have a plan. I, I have a loose plan. I have the beginnings of an idea of a plan. Okay. We need something because it just sounds like we are getting in deeper and deeper and deeper with this group. Yes. We go to the temple again in the morning. We remove mm -hmm. this curse as quickly as we possibly can. We will... Did, did, the, did the white stag say where it was going to meet us at noon? Uh, it just said noon tomorrow. Uh, prepare for combat and prepare for you to face judgment. Interesting. That's something I'm not good at. Combat. So here's what I, mean. I think. We make sure that the curse is removed before then. Yes. And then we, we leave town. either plan... There are two options here as far as I can see. We leave town immediately yes. after getting the curse removed. And if they find us, well, then they find us. And if they don't, well, then they don't. Or we get the curse removed. And then we um, hide out somewhere nearby here, assuming that the stag is going to meet us where he last saw us. And if he comes back, then we speak with him, and if, if he seems to be knowing where we are. And if not, then we um, see what happens if... Uh, I, I, I hesitate to say... Well, I hesitate to say that we just leave this town to fight off a, another group of fairies on their own, even though they're looking for us, but... Can I, uh, can I, I add something wonder if we should, I wonder if we should talk to them. We're also That's fighting another of, group besides not part of this group. We weren't there when the when this second attack happened. <gasps> Possibly we could at least find out right what we have done. That's a As point. A, a mediator, or whatever those people are called, that go and talk and try to at least find out what what the issues are. That's a great what if plan. like through a like a an apology party, and like we could have like cake. How would you oh. make clear that it was an apology party and what you were apologizing we for? We could make signs and then hang them up and be like, I'm sorry. Do you know what, Jupiter? I believe that that is a wonderful idea, and I think that you should work on that before bed. Oh, yeah, I'm good with hat. arts and crafts. As long as you stay in your I'm room. Raising my hat. Oh, yeah. Andromeda, may I have a word with you? 
I oh. had staying raised. As long as it's an intelligent word, I don't think I can handle much more of this. Uh, I agree with you totally. Hands raised. <laughs> If we... I will see if that hand fits in my mouth. I high five. Nobody, this is just between the two of us. And I say... I high five Nina. We should have them plan a party here. Hello. Because I think they will think we're having a party. That way they will not follow us when we go to talk to the white stag to find out what's going on. Well, what I was thinking was that... Um, if if the white stag is going to find anyone, it's going to find them. Whether it's because Jupiter's still cursed or because he knows who he's looking for, we obviously didn't. Wait, do I'm anything. cursed. You're not. Well, you're not in this conversation. <laughs> Thank you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so so if we if we are not near them, we won't know if the stag and his okay. posse show up. We won't know. True. We need to True. be nearby. We need okay. to have them potentially hide. Ooh. Maybe it's a surprise party. Oh, oh. We Ooh. have them hide, and we are out in the open, willing and ready to speak to whomever comes up to us. And if they don't show up, well, then that's fine. And if they do, then we can talk to them. Do you trust them to stay hidden? I think if we give them the right motivation, yes. And what would that be? I think, I think that would be multiple things for different people. Jupiter's already on the party idea, so I think a surprise party is enough for him. Uh, Dookie, I believe... My hand is raised. You're... No, you're eavesdropping. We're, we're far away from you, you can't hear eavesdropping. us. Eavesdropping. I don't know about the others. Jupiter, I heard everything. Okay. I don't want to say it. All right, I'll go back over. Nina, yes, your hand is raised. Thank you for these. My hand's been raised this entire time, and nobody's listened to me. I'm listening now. What do you want to say? I'm going to be pretty confident here. One, we just need to get the curse removed. Two, I'm more worried about the fact that we have two enemies. Yes, that's, <laughs> that is worrying. Like, do we... If we're focusing just on the stag, I'm worried of getting shot in the back, stabbed in the back. Those were... I would say hooligans, and I didn't like them. They were stealing things, and they almost murdered me. I died. I was so close to dying. I had a car behind the table. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, we are definitely leaving town so that they cannot find us again. <clears throat> hmm. Um, I think that we set up a camp just a bit off at us outside of town. The stag can come find us, okay. and the other group hopefully will be none the wiser. And we'll do this you. after we get the after curse the removed. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. I we like can put that. Three hours in between <laughs> us and this town. Okay. I like this plan. I just wanted to make sure that we were accounting for the other group that tried to stab and kill me. Yes, that was a good call, Nina. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Because I almost died. I got stabbed and killed multiple times. Now, if we should all uh, retire to our beds, um. Are we staying in the same room? How do you sleep? Uh, uh, there are a few buildings. Oh, no, we uh, would like one room, please. Sure. Thank you. Oh, we split the room. I get half. Nope, nope. No. We're in the same room. There are people <laughs> after us. We're all in the same room. Safety in numbers. This is not fair at all. And I'm going to sleep <laughs> in front of the door. Oh, can I sleep I on the, the bookshelf again? Yes, you may, Jupiter. Oh, nice. But I get the pad. <laughs> Yes, yes, you do. Deal. Dookie gets the carpet. He likes her peels on the scales. Mm hmm. <laughs> Deal. All right, See? let's go to bed. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Nina stays up very late, so she's very tired in the morning. Well, what if you went to bed earlier and were less tired in the morning? What about that idea? No. No. I'm no. Bed at four Just no. Morning. Just, Just no. Fight. Well, you're still staying in the room, and you're still waking up at nine o'clock. Before nine o'clock, so that we can go to the church for nine o'clock. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm staying up till four in the morning. I'm gonna be mad. I'm going to let you try. 
Um, and just to double check, it was nine that the the temple was open, correct? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I said my summons your, uh, her, her, her servant and plays dice games until four in the morning. <laughs> I'm sleeping in front of the door so that no one can leave the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm making arts and crafts. It's as like <laughs> really poorly handwritten. I'm like, I'm sorry. It's like, like you know, like the banners you make for like birthdays and like surprise parties. It's like that, but saying I'm sorry, but like very poorly, poorly mm. done. <laughs> With uh, napkins and stuff. Yeah. Deal. <laughs> but are you though? What? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm, I, I think we're having a, an apology party. But do you know what you're apologizing for? Is what I'm asking. Oh yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't mean to. You didn't mean, mean to, to what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt their house, and then my friends ate them, which I'm sorry, my friends did that. Is that how you want to word it? In your own character's mind? Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, just to recap, uh, Nina and Jupiter were given uh, blessings of from the uh, Church of Poverty. Nina's has been cleansed. Jupiter's not so much yet. Nina accidentally did it, so good on her. <laughs> uh as you go and spend the night uh, all in the same room, Andromeda sitting up next to the door. Well, like on the door, really. Uh, yes. Jamming something probably in between the... under, Underneath the door. So if something does happen, there's that initial block. Yes. Uh, <laughs> to prevent anyone from causing any harm. Uh, you are also on the second story, so... If you do somehow escape through the window, it's like facing the street. You'd literally have to fall unless you can think of something up. However, uh, as you're spending the night, uh, Nina did say she'd stay up as long as possible. Uh, and Jupiter is preparing banners for the middle of the night. Uh, both of you go ahead and roll perception checks. Very perceptive. I'm always perceptive. Really perceptive. I'm too busy playing dice games to notice anything. <laughs> I'm thinking about the world, and so I'm looking at the world. <laughs> and, you know, you sometimes get distracted by Jupiter uh, waving flags around, writing, I'm sorry for what my friends have done and for destroying your homes. Jupiter, stop writing smelly banners. Nobody really cares. <laughs> They're going to care. Can you imagine showing up to a party and there's no banners? You're interrupting my dice game. This ghost has won at least 30 seconds <laughs> in a row. And I can't figure it out. As <laughs> you're stating this to each other, uh, Jupiter, out of the corner of your eye, you do see a glittering form of light shining through the window. Uh, it's on the other side of the window. It's not inside the same room as you. But with the light shining through the window, it almost seems as if something invisible, like, glimmered for an instance. I'm going to wave at it. It may or may not have waved back. Have a good night. I'm in... I'm, my name is Jupiter. Are you a window? Or are you on the other side of the window? Uh, nothing responds, and after a quick second, the <laughs> glimmer... I like you. <laughs> uh, ...of the light through the moon, like, recedes or, like, stops shining. So whatever it could have been moved, but it, did, it doesn't have to move that far. Just no longer in adjacent where the light of the moon can hit it. Nice. I wonder if he's going to come to the party. Hey... Nina, do you think he's going to come to the party? I told you. Just stop interrupting me. 
This stupid ghost is cheating. I'm trying to figure it out. It's uh, only... What time is it? Do we... Do we have clocks here? Oh, it's nighttime because the sun's gone. How am I supposed to stay up to four in the morning if I don't have a clock? It's like 2 a.m. now. I think it's getting close. So I'm going to sleep. I'm calling it. I made it. Four in the morning. Did you not want to make any of this science? You're crazy and your feet smell. Maybe you should contemplate cutting those off again. I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning, Jeb. Why would I cut off my feet? <laughs> Jupiter stays up for another hour contemplating the whole, why would I cut off my feet? Uh, roll me another perception check. <laughs> I do it just to get to Jupiter's head, because I know he thinks about it too much. Uh, you do not see that glimmer again. Whatever it may have been, it's either gone or have moved slightly to the left. Uh, but you swear before sleeping, uh, you saw something move in the shadows of the night as if trying to make its way towards you, but without a good vision of what it could be. Mm. I hope he comes to the party. <laughs> You take a little nap. Uh, soon enough, you guys <laughs> wake up. Uh, Andromeda, no one... Well, I wouldn't say no one attempted to break out. Just no one could break out with current circumstance. Wonderful. I drag everyone out. We go to the temple. I am yeah, up. is that where we're picking up the cake? Yes. Uh, okay. Then I follow. Uh, Why don't we just go to a table that doesn't allow fighting? I was and thinking maybe like a unique cake, like something that's. What do you? What type of cake do you think fairies like? Oh, Gilbert, do you know? Uh. <clears throat> don't really know. Perhaps pistachio. I think they like foot cake. Uh. Why I'll be for I cake flipped? from a half-human elf who stinks. What? And it has to have a name that starts with a J, ends with an er. Well, I don't know anyone that has a name like that. Yes, Jagger. Well, anyway, hello, Jagger, <laughs> for the, the curse removal, please. Thank <laughs> you. Do you have any food oh. here, like crackers? I'm starving. We'll get get we right. want a oh. pistachio cake, please. Thank Perhaps you. speak with the baker. Uh, no, where are we then? We are getting yeah. your curse removed. Well, I'm cursed. Yes, yes, you hey, are. Hey, Andromeda, I threw someone. What did this happen? Here. It was very, very powerful. I can only handle one person talking at a time, please. I'm talking. I'll let you handle a dupe. This just kind man, boy. Just... Thank you. I was bragging. When did I get cursed? In the woods. Now, please, I push him in front of me and I say, "Stand still, so the nice man can help you." I stand perfectly still. Thank you. We just stick them underwater. Those bugs can't swim. Hello. I'm standing still. Right. Uh, you showed up bright and early. Good. Good for you. Yes. All right, then. Uh, thankfully enough, I haven't been able to... Uh, help. Well, I suppose the poor choice of words in saying I haven't been able to help anyone currently. Um, I still have my spell slots, so all right, then. Uh, he begins to cast a uh, remove curse upon the form that is Jupiter. Uh, as this is going on, uh, does anyone have a passive perception of 14? No. How do we check that? I think so. I've got a passive perception. No, no. Yes, I do. Pa passive wisdom perception of 14. I do too. I'm really perceptive. I Very do nice. too. I'm also perceptive for some reason. I how do we check that? It's below your um your skills. Left mm -hmm. side the left of the page. Side of your page. Own special number above the way down. I believe it's called like cake. passive wisdom perception. Yeah. On the left side. <clears throat> you kind of scroll down a bit though. It's like below everything else. Skill. Very strong skills. That's wisdom perception. Oh, I have six. Is it the little number or the big one? Big one. 16. Nice. What? We're all really perceptive. Our old characters weren't. 
<laughs> this is also a low perception. Uh, but it is a good one. That's wisdom. Yeah. Uh, okay. Those of you... Uh, those of you that got it, uh, as Jupiter's being cleansed, uh, you do see, like... It's not a mirage, but you feel like almost an instance of someone watching you. Uh, some of you see people like behind pillars, behind trees. Uh, when you look back, the thing that was there is gone. But the presence of that feeling has not left your side. Guys, what if they're throwing a surprise party for us? No, I don't think so. But I do feel like I'm being watched. And it's not being watched by ghosts. It's being watched by something that's not a ghost. I'm, I'm going to say out. <laughs> if you're there, um, let me know what type of cake you want. And I'm sorry. And I'll get on the cake saying sorry. I think you should definitely get cleansed quicker. Uh, cleansed. Why would I <laughs> get cleansed? Soon enough, uh, Jupiter is r removed curse upon. Uh, the glimmer and oh. glitter that has been placed upon him dissipates and recedes oh. back into the ether. All right then. Well, I'm uh, not shiny anyways. anymore. It's a good moment. I don't have to look at that shininess on your face anymore. I'm sad because I liked being rainbow. We can make you rainbow again later with something that's not a curse. Oh, yes, uh, you could have you. We can have you eat another fairy. No. No. Oh, okay, something <laughs> other than that. I wouldn't need a fairy. That I don't need If I like see that. a fairy and it tries to stab me, I'll probably eat it. Uh, Leroy, where would... Th is there a shop that sells apology cakes? Uh, if you're talking about a baker, there are a few shops in town. Uh, I know the uh, Hungry Gopher, good place to look for good loaves of bread. Uh, makes a decent cake. Love bread right now. Something for something, anything. Bread, coffee. Yes. We will stop at the bakery on our way out of town as we must leave vanished. very quickly. Yes. Let's Thank gather you. up. This has been such a great vacation. Way better than any Thank vacation. You very much, Leroy. Leroy. Thank you, Leroy. Thank you, Leroy. Mm hmm. If you see any fairy folk, tell them that where we're going so that they know where the party is. Sure. No need. No need. I tell him as we walk away. Thank you so much. All right. Well, good luck. Uh, <laughs> we will need it. Sounds like it. Oh. I, you guys begin to splinter apart. Not splinter apart. Uh, head out of this of the temple uh heading out into the main courtyards uh soon enough that weird over encompassing feeling of being watched is still there is still present i don't know why he is with your group uh gone i wondered that too like, <laughs> he's following us maybe it's that one <laughs> it's my my old dementia coming back thinking that we're with the statue okay for our friends, time to get stashio cake. <laughs> As you're heading out, our uh, Jupiter, you do see to the to your left the Hungry Gopher uh, Bakery. Yeah. We I, should. I start in there like a, a child. I run Hello. Between... <clears throat> a nice petite the woman uh, looks at you. Uh, Oh, uh, pleased to meet you. Uh, what brings you to the Hungry Gopher? Breakfast. Anything it, breakfast. Uh, oh, no. I have some... Maybe no. some pistachio what? muffins? No. Oh, we do have I plenty of pistachio muffins. Uh, individual cakes. Jupiter. Oh, the individual, individual cakes. But can you write I'm sorry on oh, all the individual cakes? It, it will you take some time. Right, I'm sorry. You must do that or else it's not heartfelt. Oh. Yes. Can I get some icing to be able to write sorry myself on them? I I suppose. Uh, okay. Let's see here. I accidentally made fairies mad at me, but I want to be friends with them. So uh. I'm going to try to give them a 
surprise I'm sorry party mm. before they kill me and strip my skin off my bones. Mm, I see. Terrible thing. You don't know if this woman believes you or not, but she's serving a customer, so is listening to your story. I see. Um, well, if you... How many fairies are there? You don't know. Uh, <laughs> I see. need... Yeah. Uh, and they're very little, so they can even share. Oh, of course. Oh, uh, it's like a full-size cake for them. Exactly. Can I get tin? I only have one gold because I gave all my other gold to Nina. Oh, that should be plenty. Uh, let's see here. One gold, a dozen uh, cupcakes, as well as uh, breakfast muffins uh, for you all. Uh, she like begins to ring it out and goes, oh, look at that. Exactly one gold. Oh, nice. Look at that. Uh, any of you can roll insight, but that would be too much money. Way too much. I don't. I just want to leave. Yeah. Uh, who doesn't understand the value of it? <laughs> uh, getting taken advantage of, you do get the items. Uh, Jupiter, you get a large box of uh, nice uh, muffin, not muffins, cupcakes. Uh, frosting is white. However, she also gives you uh, a nice pipette uh, with blue frosting already inside. Uh, here you go. Thank and you. She hands everyone else a nice uh, breakfast muffin. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, I think we should head out mm. of town quickly now. Yes, we must go. Thank you so much. We all um, we, we'll come back if we are ever in town again. Of course. Uh, <laughs> you guys begin to bail, uh, heading out of the city, potentially. Jupiter riding. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, just the, it's globs, really bad handwriting. Globs <laughs> of... Uh, I don't know how this icing is supposed words. to work. <laughs> it's the worst. I, I think I cut a hole in the icing thing too big, and it's just coming out in globs. <laughs> That's all right. I'm sure the sentiment will get across no matter what. You I can sure? read it. I want them yes. to be my friend really bad. So, I can read it out to fiends and fart. Yeah, <laughs> fart. Not sure what that means, but it, it's written quite well. Thank you. It's I, a mess, uh, <laughs> at the very least. Uh, closing it up, you guys begin to head towards the main gate. Uh, as you do, something does happen. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, okay. 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 And as you head towards the main gate, um, you do see someone like walking through the gate before you can fully uh, get there. And it's the man uh, you saw hey. beforehand. Terry's it's back for my fingers. Help me. I ain't <laughs> giving him back. I already ate him. Are you here to for the party? I don't know if I br got enough personal cakes, though. Nah, no party here. Now, thing is, we didn't find our bag in... Would you call it... She look. He looks towards Nina. You it. No, you it call it something child. else. It wasn't like me, I didn't say it. Child prison or something like that. What? Oh, a child... What is it? An orphan, orphan? Nina called this something else. I just don't remember what it was. So I'm is just going to say child, child prison. Is a collection of human children. Like a child adoption agency. I thought it was a store. Where you buy children. Oh, maybe it was Jupiter that called it something else. It, it's not important. No, it was Nina. The Jupiter just was like, oh, okay. I don't remember what I called okay. it, but it's full of naughty children. Uh, I think it was a child store. That's what it was. <laughs> uh... Okay. Looking to you guys, he does state. So we kind of have a problem here. Oh, do we? I, I mean, we told you where it was, and so if it's not there anymore, it's not on us. No. Did you ask the mistress where she put her bag? Nah. So we want to make sure we aren't spotted by so many, you know? Well, I'm counting no. quite too many around here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Too bad you've been spotted by eleven people. Mm. Jupiter looks around for a guard. Uh, there's like a guard two uh, blocks away. Hmm. 
You can ask the guard. My parents always told me that if you ask them for directions or something, they'll tell you. Hmm. So you want me to ask a god? No, Where but are we you? Might ask the god to, you know, he misplaced the, the money that was stolen <laughs> yesterday that has you evidence of you messing what money? with it. Are you talking about the bag? Because if you yes, get yeah. lost, yeah, you're dicking yourself whenever before. I get lost, they take me to the guard post, and that's where that people Just found me. Scoot behind so if you, the okay. bag got lost, then they might know if it, they found it. Mm. We told you where it was. We told you who to talk to, and you chose not to talk to that person. Therefore, we can't help you anymore. <gasps> Perhaps the guard over there can help. Mm, yes, quite right. Yeah, that's what my suggestion was. In fact, I think they'll help me fairly well. Uh, uh you oh, okay. see him like uh, unfurl the cloak thing over half his face, uh, like whistles, and immediately you see a shot blink being flung straight towards Jupiter, lands in front of him with a satchel bag next to him there's nothing inside minus one uh bar of metal that flings out uh shouting out loud the man does state officer come quickly i found the robbers from yesterday yes yes Help. I yeah, turn the man. i'm pointing i turn around and i put yes. my i kick it with my back legs. Why would you the kick the bag? bag? I kicked it away from us. So you did find the bag. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, why is this an issue if you found the bag? It, Jupiter, you know it's not the same bag. <laughs> it's not the same bag, but it's still a bag nonetheless. Where uh, is this bag's father? <laughs> Anna, you, Are you the bag's attempt to father? kick it. Uh, the guard is rushing because this is a active investigation. Uh, Anna, roll dexterity versus this man's uh, performance. Well, deception, actually. Deception on his part. Uh, per dexterity on yours. Uh, this would be a dexterity saving throw. So I just do the dexterity thing. Uh-huh. Whoop. Did it go? Yep. A 13. And unfortunately, he has a plus 5 to deception. It's not impossible to beat, but it... Uh, it is a bit I, of... Can I help since I was pointing at him? I, yeah, I'll give the help action, which means we'll take the 16 instead of the 13. Hey. All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. That is 15 on his part, which is not enough uh, to succeed. Uh, the guard rushes uh, rather quickly. And uh, pointing him, him, him. Uh, kicks the bag away. Uh, it furls over here. Uh, and the metal no. bar comes over here. Do you see? Do you see this man? Uh, he guard, like help. It's injured. I put oh. my hands up. It wasn't me. Does this time. Jupiter do that? <laughs> Not do that, Jupiter. But Jupiter thinks of bags Shoot. as, like, living things and just Jupiter. watch Anna just kick it across the room. The Jupiter would 100% get the bag and get it to the guard. Did, did Jupiter walk past Anna? Could Anna try to hold him? I think Jupiter was, like, here somewhere. Yeah. But he didn't, wouldn't need to. Anna could, potentially. Well, I reach out and grab him because he's <laughs> right, This idiot. is a grapple check. Disadvantage. You've only got one arm. <laughs> no, no. Ableism. This is a grapple check. Also, Anna currently has two arms. Uh, I go gadget my arm and I grab him. Anna, this would be uh, an athletics check for you. Uh, so in your skills, it would be called athletics. Jupiter, this is either athletics or acrobatics on your part. Uh, you have already demonstrated how much you care for bags, so I'll give you advantage. I get uh, 13 and 10. 
Uh, Jupiter, like, dives for the bag, trying to save it before it falls on the ground. Uh, with enough uh, pep in your step that it just outpaces Anna by a thin margin. I'll say, that man is trying to save the, the, the bag which that man has just tossed over his shoulder. Well, Jupiter would be calling for the guard. Uh, the uh, guard like does the come over. Guard, uh, help! The bag is injured. He does, like, See, this... draw out his blade, but he doesn't, like, draw it to attack you. He just, like, unsheaths it. Uh, looks towards the group, and he does state. All right, I have no idea what's going on here. All of you detained immediately. No, you follow me. Man, Jupiter this man is crying. has That's... just thrown money at us and accused us of stealing it. Okay. I've Officer, got you really I've... believe okay. this story? I'm just <gasps> throwing <gasps> money at them. He's wearing a mask. He very much looks like an un, uh, like a, a, a bad character. He's a bad guy. Look at him. Stop fighting. This isn't the Look time, sir. He's a bad, a bad guy. Please voice. take the bag and take care of it. It's her. All right, sir. You still coming in a crime? I'm gonna have to potentially take you in. I needed the entire what story crime? here. What crime? He he didn't. He ran for the bag. It's okay. I don't know that for sure. This is this bag. all sounds strange. Can a man Jupiter... throws money at you and you kick it away, and this man is l trying to protect Look, the bag for some reason. Here's the full story. Here's the full story. You, you never this had man, a bag in Jupiter, your life. Please, Jupiter, huh? please. This man, <laughs> and I point to the man in the gate, uh, attacked us last night and right. was trying to accuse us of stealing money from him, which I have never seen this man before, in my life before last night, and now is trying to pin the whole thing on us. Nina raises her hand. And we do have witnesses of last night's oh, fight. Oh, that's what I was, that was what Nina was uh, going to say. Yes, we do. We have well, a witness. I, I am a feral animal. I have nothing to um, do with this. Look I, at me. I am a little a monster. Story if you want <laughs> I've been... <laughs> Have, are you familiar with the headmistress at the orphanage? Uh, Madame Krabappel? Yeah, she had the original bag. <laughs> Her name's Krabappel. He lost his original bag, and I gave it to the orphanage because it was lonely. And then today, he showed up with another bag, this one, and he threw it and hurt it. He's abusive. Mm, Can Jupiter make, like... A persuasion check just because he's so earnestly stupid <laughs> yeah go for it yeah, you you have to remember like jupiter is actually crying from no i know you are so earnest hurt. right now i love it you're very earnest but you're very stupid oh pretty good <laughs> uh i'm gonna still right. have him attempt to say otherwise but that's gonna be hard to be he needs to roll a natural 20 to just tie. Uh, the man just looks towards you guys. The evil, air quotes man. The bank robber. He's not necessarily <laughs> evil, but he is rude. By a he large margin. Rude. Uh, the rude man does state, Officer, you really gonna believe them? Why would this man care so much for a bag? And why would I just simply throw money at them? Clearly they're lying. I'm gonna roll... <laughs> Uh, 14 plus and modifier, not enough. Uh, the guard does state, you know what? Looks towards the guy with the mask. Gonna have to detain you. You all, I do need your statements, but you're not under arrest. Oh, we, 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 we understand. Yes, thank you. As we long will all cooperate. the bag is treated well and in your care. Right. Just uh, he make like, sure he finds a good home. Takes it, puts it in arm, uh, like draws his sword straight towards the man. Right, you follow me, and then offhandedly, you guys do hear maybe the that parcel, uh, Madame Krabappel left at the away station. Maybe that has something to do with this. Uh, because it didn't go to the officers; it went to like a air air quotes place of lost and found. They're not in the same building. Uh, the man like drawn blades towards him does state well 
We'll have to kill you another day. Smoke bomb! Boom! Bye! Uh, he wait, does that a lot. Uh, immediately, a burst of smoke just plumes around him. Uh, and then he just disappears. He might. He might disappear. He still needs to roll a stealth check. Uh, anyone trying to perceive him? Spell. Yes, I'm trying to perceive him. Uh, we'll have to roll perception. Yes. Well, he needs to roll a natural 20 on this, but he does have a plus 7. He just waddle away. I'm also perceiving. But not to interrupt anything, I just want to see how the magic trick works. I don't perceive as good. <laughs> but I'm, everybody was looking around. Uh, he, he rolled poorly. Oh, no. Everyone <laughs> but Anna could see him. <laughs> Anna's just blown away by how just amazing this <laughs> magic, magic trick <laughs> Anna's ever seen. Oh my god. I just point. I say, he's, he's there. He's still there. He like is between the uh what's it called the ceramics to the right realizing he's been found out just like bails through uh the guard rushes after him uh come to the station need your uh testimony and like runs yeah i go back to to the station or should we go out of town now <laughs> anyone do anything <laughs> to, to the, station the later. cupcakes i left here i ate one while well, i was gone they're on the ground thank you i didn't eat one but i thought uh, <laughs> no one seems to have eaten anything good it would be oh, a bad God. thing if that white the horse mini cakes took are okay. the station. <sighs> exactly. I don't think that would end well for us. Yes. I or think we should go. I think we should go but, and then come back. Maybe. But my parents told day. me to always obey the the guards. And he said we to are. go to the police station. He didn't All say right. right away. He didn't say right away. He just yes. said, here is the plan. Oh, okay. We will go out the gate. Yeah. Uh, we'll walk for half an hour. We will set up a camp and get ready for the party. Yeah. We love party. And we will wait until noon and we will see what happens. And then we will go decide and just, just decide if we want to go to the station. All right? Yeah. Possibly. Right. Can we also go to a station at another location and they could just send the information on? <gasps> that is a great idea. I don't know how all that works. I don't know. Sure, how they have works. a telegram or a, or a pigeon. Or someone who can send a message. Mm. Or a dragon. Yeah. I don't know if dragon would be the most efficient way to do it, but pigeons, perhaps, yes. Uh, I thought we were just naming random things. Well, then in that case, you did very well. Thanks. All right, let's go. We'll find a place to wait for noon. Oh, yeah, we no should... one is going to get hurt. Like can I pick this spot? Because I, I think I know what a fairy would like. Yes, we will wait for 30 minutes once we start walking, and then you can choose a spot. All yeah. right? Okay. I'm okay. following you. Okay. Thank you. We walk. Uh, you guys begin to <laughs> leave the area. Uh, Jupiter, you decide a place to make camp slash yeah. surprise I party. I would try to find somewhere that's just like naturally really pretty you know what i mean yeah maybe like with like a small stream going by and then i would hang up the signs i made that are like hanging from just a little piece of string between the trees Mhm. Mm um uh, and like sorry is somehow misspelled like it only has one r sorry sorry a s a r y it's sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Spells like I do. <laughs> Why do you guys keep saying that I'm sorry, weird? We're, sorry. we're trying to read your sign. It, it says, says, I'm, says sorry. I'm sorry. Right, What's a sorry? What do you, no, it says I'm sorry. Is that a Z or an fish. S? Sorry. Is there a difference? That's not a fish. It's an accent. Yes, there is a difference. But they both go whoosh. Like when you make them, they go whoosh. Oh, yes, but they go whoosh in opposite directions. 
What? Those opposing, they have those eyes? opposing directions. Which way are they what... facing? I can't see their eyes. They are at the point. That's their face. One's facing but this way, point? the other's facing that way. The top one. The point Do you has see what I mean? Direction. Wait, are you saying that S's can never look left? And yes. Z's can never look right? Well, if you're looking at from the other side, perhaps. If you see them in a mirror, they're looking that way, aren't they? What? If you see an S in a mirror, it's looking the other way. Should I always keep an S with a Z so they both can look at both ways and have each other's backs? Do you oh know, I think that that's a good idea. I add, a, I add an S to the Z. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, so now it is. Sorry. S -zor <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. The scary. Sorry. Who is that? Who who tagged these muffins? You you play this character really well, Shannon. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Uh, um, As another you're... thing I would do is let me make sure I can do that with this. Uh, do, 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 do. Can I use level one slot for fairy fire to kind of have different colored little orbs around too to make it pretty? Sure. Like a, like a party, you know, instead of balloons, the little tiny, tiny, kind of balls of fire, because it could be in blue, green, or violet. Yeah, I. Uh, you make like distinctive uh, balloon-like structures uh, with the fairy firelight. Uh, placing from time to time, uh, the lights shine brightly, uh, causing a ricochet of. Uh, what's it called? Uh, firecrackers, like bursting in air, but continuously. It's very pretty. Beautiful. This whole place is beautiful. How do you uh, I hope they like it. Oh, there's water Ooh. here. Perfect. And it looks deep. <gasps> yes. <laughs> and do you know what? Um, this should be a surprise party, don't you think? So I, I believe that you, Jupiter, and Juki, and Nina should hide. Underwater. Why do, why do all I need to hide? 15 minutes. I feel as though I know you do anything. I, I feel as though I should be like here because if if I just go boo, they might be like ah, and then be like pew, and then no. like I die because they shot me with an arrow. No, you say surprise. Oh, okay. Yes, and you're you're over there in the trees near the water, mm -hmm. and um, you're not. And we will bring aggressive. them. Up. We will bring. We will greet them. And bring mm -hmm. them up to you. Yes. Down to me? Over to you. Okay. But, but make back. sure they make That's sure they know that the cakes are here. We well, will, yes. We'll let you we'll let you present them with the cakes. Yes. Once we give them the cakes, mm -hmm. once you surprise Rather them. Rather not look at these and, things. And you they make don't sure they, they read the, very good the signs anyways. And Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, don't worry. You want me to He's hide? Super still. worried. <laughs> Should I hide? I can hide. I'll go I... down for 15 minutes. I don't know when that is, but I'm down there. Juki's in the water. I'm not doing that. I'm going in this tree. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time. Let me get up on the bench, though. I can't get a pull up. <laughs> Ow. My ankles. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna hide behind the tree. <laughs> sit down against the tree. No. Uh, since Jobit was part of the team that Jupiter was, he also hides to make sure that oh, yes, good. things don't go awry. And then, Anna, I think you and I should be near them so that, you know, we can see them. Especially if, you know, the, the, the fairies come and find them immediately. We don't want to be too far away. But we want them to be hiding sort of behind us so that we're the ones who try to negotiate. Okay. 
sounds like a good plan. So I should stand here? Yeah. Okay. So wait, so Jupiter's in the tree. Mm -hmm. Nina's in that tree. Jupiter, behind I think you should go tree. in the tree with Nina. I, the tree's empty. I could, I'm just behind it. But Jupiter's over there in this tree, and Jupiter, I think you should be with Nina. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't want to be next to the guilty one. I just... Make You're sure... You're all guilty. Make sure insects <gasps> don't get on the, the personal cakes. They won't. Yes. Don't we... worry. I hope this goes well. It will all work out. Should one way or another. Drill bit go over there? Yes, Drillbit, go, um... No, hey, Drillbit, same tree. Drillbit can stay wherever he wants. I'm not worried okay. about him. Okay. All right. I am worried about the others. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah, when it gets here at noon, I'm going to cast Mage Armor. I might move over here to get the back side of the tree. What do you think? What? You in don't case... know which direction they're yes, coming from. Yeah, I don't know what direction they're coming in. And Vera, perhaps you go here. Um, um, but uh, sure. The personal cakes are over there and no one's watching them. All right, I will go here so that I'm closer to the cakes. Okay. Okay. I cast major armor on myself. Uh, but what about the cake? <laughs> I'm near the cake. You cast Bay Drama on the cake. No, I cast Bay Drama on, the on myself. <laughs> the cake will be fine. Can a healing spirit heal a cake? Uh, maybe. I have mending. <laughs> I'll mend it later if it gets injured. Okay. <laughs> uh, your team waits for the stroke of midnight, but in noon, so it'd be high noon. <laughs> I just couldn't think of the word. <laughs> uh, soon enough, you do hear like the fluttering of wings heading towards your direction uh, from the path you had taken. Uh, you hear like squeaky little voices coming towards you, just saying, "I swear this way." No, no, I, I don't think so, but maybe. Uh, the stag, further in the back, does state. Uh, death state. We will find them! Uh, and soon enough, they do find, well, visibly three of you for now. Mm -hmm. And I walk up to greet them. Hello, I agree. Hello! How are you? My name is Anna. And I am Andromeda Villanova Leonora Guy at the Sixth. And this is Vera. How do you do, I'm... princess? Only princess here. Oh. Well, yes, princess. I bow. <laughs> get down on one knee. It's very difficult for me. And I get back up. <gasps> uh, well, we are here to find out what we can do or what, what our, we can do to help resolve the issues between our friends and you. Yes, as you see, as you see our friends are quite afflicted with um, guilt. Guilt and also a lack of intelligence. And we're working really hard to try to get them to do better, but it's, it, it's, a, it's a work in progress. They have, in fact, arranged for a surprise party. Yes, they want to say I'm sorry. sorry party. And please ignore the poor spelling, because as I said, not much intelligence. Hmm. Parties aside, I see no uh, true connection to this. Your friends have most ungraciously destroyed a small pixie village, have consumed the bodies, and then later on vomited them. Later on, Hi. beyond that day, they then sat on the throne of the Court of Fae, unleashed a portal into the Fae, from the Feywild, and murdered many Yith Hounds. As that sounds terrible. Does Is there anything we can do to help make it better? Yes. Uh, 
Trial said, by combat. But I'm they're... getting really low. I don't want to be seen. <laughs> yeah, they're very... They're not really quite... <laughs> and, and they're not responsible for their actions. They're, they're really not very smart. They didn't know what they were doing. Intelligence aside, they still have committed crimes. Uh, and then were... when... But they were unaware of these crimes because they're very infants. unaware. Uh, one of the pixies uh, does look towards you guys. I'm going to say the one to the right. Uh, the more feminine one uh, does state. Uh, no, no, no. When I examined the area, there was more than like a few people there. Were you guys not with them? Because I found like seven traces of people that were in the area. Around Is she there. About the first one or the, the second one? Uh, the first one. The when the mushrooms were like destroyed and then uh Jupiter told <laughs> uh Dookie to eat the bodies. Oh, that's right. Guys, it's okay, know, the cakes are back. okay. Okay. Yes, we we were nearby. Um our friends had wandered unbeknownst to us. They were attracted by a beautiful flower. And, um... I checked on the cakes. They're okay. That's when the unfortunate instance Accident. happened. Yes. Accident happened. It's... They truly and we tried to make it right as soon as we realized what was going on. They're, ah, they're... so your negligence caused this. No. Mm. Again, they're not very bright. And yet you proceeded to neglect them and their actions. Honestly, am I their mother? No. I didn't, don't know. Many I'm humanoids not. look the same to me. No. I'm quite all right. I'm not their mother, and I should not be responsible for them like their children. Well, then bring me yeah. their heads, or trial no, by who, combat it is. Who, who, who is the, um, the champion on your side? I... Which one's this? I. Uh, it's the stag. Stag. Hmm. Uh, the big guy. Well, I think we should at least be the same size. This is but true. It seems very unfair. You have quite an advantage on us. The second time you guys caused commotion, there was four of you. That's right. We weren't even there. Yeah, super no yes, Not so four against system. me would be the exact same size. Oh, I see. All right, all right. Can we, um, can they nominate others to, to fight for them? Guys, the cakes are getting cold. If they are willing, looks for Jupiter, there is one, and then looks back towards the conversation. If they are willing to die for your allies then so I'll be it just, i'll just bring them over there i would like to stand in for J J jupiter because he's very endearing and earnest but also very stupid uh, i brought the cakes over here because they were getting cold would you guys like them before we start do you see what i mean mm -hmm. it's pistachio I... that can kill us i am highly allergic Jupiter starts crying because he really <laughs> tried. Uh, <laughs> I am Can so he sorry. Back to show how earnest he is. I, I messed up the lettering. <laughs> and I was really trying, and I asked around what people would like in these different statues. Nina's still real <laughs> low to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the fae individuals does state. Why? Because it was green? A little weird, but okay. No, that's just what they told me. Hmm. Must not, must not know Faith folk that well. Also, he said I hurt the dogs that came from the Faye Wild. Murdered, but yes. No, you can ask the one that I, I said to not hurt anyone and that we shouldn't attack each other and then they attacked us and then I purposely didn't attack them back and I even saved one and had him run away. Yes, we 
we're informed that you cast a very powerful spell to have them be commanded by you and yeah. then leave you alone by bribery. Because I didn't want to hurt them. Hmm. But you use your domineering power to control them. It was either that or we kill each other, and I don't like those options. You could have run away. This is true. You could have ordered a run away. I Neither cannot to run, run away. Them. I can almost trip over my own foot. It's happening. All right. All right. If it's if it's trial by combat that you want, you we we will choose four of us and we will fight, but Wait. not to the death. Wait, I'm hmm. making a demand. Jupiter, I don't think that's helping your case. Does it have to be physical combat? Yes. Oh, I suppose we can go with your own land's legal structure and pay a hefty fine. I was going to say, do you want to do a trial of wits? And who is your strongest of mind? I am. But not, not true, <laughs> true, but you, you, you try whatever you're trying right now. Very well, then. then. If we you do fail, each other. you will die. Can also, I can go get more cakes again. I'm sorry oh, about all the cakes. Yes. Then you will pay a hefty sum of money. Fine. All right. No, if he fails, no. we pay money. Hold on. No death. I'll accept the death. But I or a curse. I am that I don't we hurt flexible. We just got rid of a curse. Please don't look us. So like, if you win, you can kill me. But if I win, I just want to make sure I don't have to hurt you. <laughs> hmm. Very well. As you have challenged me, I will decide the trial. What number am I thinking of? Four. From, from what to yeah, what? <laughs> Damn it. From one through ten. <gasps> Jupiter, roll a die. Day. <laughs> Jupiter gets like huh? worried roll, look. Uh, roll a d10. Uh, <laughs> Like, Jupiter has pure anxiety pulling out a dice. Do not worry. Uh, I have already uh, stipulated the number beforehand, prior to you appearing. Dice that Seven? rule all things. Uh, I think it's, it's just Jupiter, right? It is just Nick, him. Your roll come through my dice. So, like your big dice do the small dice, <laughs> but they're the same dice. Are all dice the same dice? You're thinking of a three. That is wrong. Looks towards Anna. It was indeed seven. Oh, does that count? <laughs> yes. Well, then that counts. That's wonderful. The dice are trying to kill me. No, I mean Jupiter's response. But you, but you said Anna's response counted. No, I meant or implied that Jupiter's was the only answer I would take. Ah. It's true. Yes. Again, now then, we, we I death. did state no death, just a hefty fine. So I only no. go for, hmm. No. Looks towards. I said, I could give you all that I have, but it's not much. No. True, he doesn't it wouldn't much. suffice. Here. Take, take from my body what you have to. <laughs> I'm sorry about the cakes. If that is what you desire, I will strip away your magic or 100 gold. Oh, I have I'm... seven silver. I have 100 gold. <laughs> yes, I also have 100 gold. We will pay for him. No, yes, we'll this is fine. the <laughs> trouble that I have caused. Right. Well, Jupiter, yeah. Jupiter. We will give you the money that you can then pay him. Is that is that satisfactory? And you can pay us back. Yes. I don't know. You have to ask Our him. Next. He's the one that's in charge. Because I am pretty yeah. flexible. 
He stated he wants 100 gold. Then... You said that it was your job, so if we give you the money to pay us back, you can give it to him to pay your debt. I turn around. Turn I don't around. know about this money thing. Are you sure this will not suffice? And I hold out my, my seven silver... He's just staring at me, so I don't <laughs> think it is. I zoned out for a second there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Silver was the number the whole time. It was the big dice. Sorry, sorry, Jupiter. You turned towards Andromeda and I zoned out. What did you say? <laughs> All I said was like, because I don't understand the, the really the value of money. I was like, I, I emptied out my pockets and was like, are you sure that this is not enough? And it's just seven silver. He, he says nothing. I guess that does count. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jupiter, here. Here. I give you 100 gold. But that's your shiny things. And now you will pay me back with your shiny things in the future. Well, give it to I, the nice stag and pay your debt. Wait, Jupiter, wait, Jupiter. I told Nina that I would always give my money to her. Okay. Well, Jupiter. right now you owe this man some money. Get Jupiter. Give him the gold and give Andromeda your silver. Yes. See? Oh, that works. That's yeah. like an equivalent exchange. Yeah. Perfect. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. I give her seven silver. And I give him 100 gold and I tell him to give it straight to the stag. That's a lot heavier, but I'll take your word for it. It's a difference in material. That's all. Oh. Uh, Nina, you see a lot of money in Jupiter's hand. Oh my god. Oh. Also, I'd Mr. Like to... Stack. Nina. Maybe I can't. I'd no. like to hold person on Jupiter. Wait, what? Mr. Stag? Before I give you this money. <laughs> okay, I'm and... fine with it. It's not my money. I wanted money. to say <laughs> that I'm sorry for destroying the homes. I was picking mushrooms and I didn't realize that those mushrooms were people's homes and I said I was really sorry. That, and then uh, the Before other... you continue, that is a lie. I did tell you when you first found the mushrooms that you found mushrooms similar to this that were homes of fairies. Yeah, well, because the that time, if, if you remember, Jupiter said to not mess with them at that time but jupiter's still sorry about the first time fair i guess because in, in jupiter's mind jupiter doesn't feel like he did anything the second time because morally like in jupiter's mind right mm -hmm. the 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 team had already killed the fairies and it that is just a waste of that point right because from living out in the wilds don't waste resources if you're so like an only moral animal issue. with not a yeah. higher in yeah but thought process Jupiter's does not think that way like jupiter Wait, would be like but you i should eat them. my body if i die yeah no i know and so jupiter doesn't think he did anything wrong that time like no offense so to you guys as characters you guys are dumb but you're not animals I'm not saying you can't do this, Jupiter. <laughs> I'm just stating the facts here. But yeah, yeah. go ahead, Jupiter. Well, I would just be apologizing. For yeah. I uh, he I, does state, then, as you continue. I'm also, sorry. I sat on a big chair in the woods, and it made a flower come out. And it was really pretty. But then the doggers came out, and I tried to be their friends with no magic, without using any magic. And then they bit me in the leg. And then mm. other people, too. And then I said, please stop. I said, please stop twice. And then I had to use magic so that I could save one. Because I didn't want them to die. So, here is the money. But I also say sorry. And I'm sorry about the cakes again. I really tried on that one. It is okay about the cakes. You do not know my allergies. That being stated... While your crimes are large, you have paid the debt. People will still not like you, but what? no longer will your record be what? unclean. What do you mean they won't like me? I think 
he means that if you meet other fairies, you might want to be very, very careful. Can we not be friends? Probably not, by your track record. He means that you have a lot to make up for if you want to be friends with them. I look over here. Wait, we can't be friends? No, I've heard a lot of things that you've done. I'm good. I look over here. Wait, we can't be friends? No! I look back at this deck. Can we not be friends? I am the Arbiter. I cannot be friends with the people I am Arbiting. Can we be friends afterwards? If you're cool to hang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. But that is only I, Jupiter. Uh, he does state... For Jupiter's stance, yes. But there is still... Uh, like, they hoof the ground and, like, dirt begins to the form the them. shapes of Nina uh, and Dookie. Mm. These two still have crimes as well. Then they, like, scuff the ground again. This one kind of technically through being around while they m just murdered a bunch of youth hounds. And then Drill yeah, Bit also shows up. She killed one of the dogs. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yeah. The crime <laughs> of the... Yeah points to the dookie manifestation this one is similar to the one points to jupiter of that one and then looks towards uh nina's uh, similar both crimes He's committed at the exact same the time first. uh <laughs> deflecting aside looks towards the nina manifestation uh that one has committed crimes but it is not as severe so only jail time, or a large sum of money yet again. How much money? <laughs> or trial by combat. Uh, since she's only committed crimes halfway, Half meet in the middle, about 50 gold. I'll pay this time, Andromeda. Oh, thank you. 50 gold. <laughs> no. <laughs> and that covers who? Uh, points towards the Nina uh, manifestation. Oh. That one, wherever she may be. Wherever she may be. Oh, 50 gold. Okay, so 50, that gives me 43 gold left. Okay. Uh, he does state that one points to the drill bit manifestation is around 25 gold. He kind of only <laughs> like was around. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I'll pay that one too. Uh, Joe Blake comes over. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it was just 25 gold. I ain't got to cover. Okay. Uh, Jupiter, what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you going, Jupiter? Uh, they can't eat the cakes. I'm trying to find them some food. Excuse me. <laughs> Feel that you have 25 gold. Oh, yeah, I have plenty. Uh... Hands him the money. Here you go. Thank you. You sure know trial by combat. Hundred gold or trial by combat or wisdom <laughs> trial. I keep it loose. A wisdom trial. I brought some nuts and you some know, berries. You know, I think I'll leave that one up to Dookie. Would you like any? Dookie. Uh, no. Juki, I think you you better come out and make a decision here. Would you like any of these nuts I and berries? I ignore it. You any of You're ignoring it. <laughs> I'm on the service. Uh, I'll take alligator. a few berries, I guess. Sitting there waiting. I, I look towards Juki. Juki slowly turns his body and his face faces you. <laughs> Can you please come over here? I slowly go underwater. I would like to cast suggestion on Juki. Uh, um, before you do that, uh, <laughs> Jupiter, you're saying? S did, Stag, did you want any nuts and berries that I foraged? I will take a few berries. There you go. And anyone else need any snacks for the party? There's personal cakes if you're not allergic. <laughs> uh, as Andromeda is trying to get Dookie to pay for his crimes, <laughs> or at least stand trial, uh... A fairy pops out of invisibility and like 
enhances Andromeda's spell as it like aims towards Dookie. Uh, cool. Dookie, go ahead and roll for me. I believe it's a wisdom save. I believe so. Flawless. Uh, it would be at a disadvantage thanks to the enhancement. <gasps> Fail. Damn. <laughs> Dookie, I suggest you come here right now. I don't want to, but I will. Yes, you will. <laughs> uh, pretending you, you guys for the last two days. Uh, and I'm two Who weeks from retirement. Very sorry. God. Dookie, Dang. you have to make the choice. You must give this man 100 gold. Or, or beat him at a um, trial of might or of wisdom. Oh boy, I really don't want to eat more of these things. They were really bad last time. Oh, you're the one that murdered and then consumed the bodies. I suppose the fee now is a little I... higher, but I've already made the assumption, so too late to go back on it now. You're very honorable. Who do I, who do I have to no, fight? A, I, a stag. I have to fight that thing. The but, stag. But he's not very strong. He can't fight. Can he swim? Are you challenging him to a swimming race? No, I'm just asking before I fight. He doesn't have flippers. I don't think he can swim. I can swim, <laughs> but I cannot breathe underwater. Hmm. So I suppose I cannot dive. Oh, interesting. If we limit the fight to 15 minutes, I'll fight you. 15 oh. minutes is quite a long time for a fight. It is. Indeed. Yeah. In the water. That's 150 rounds. <laughs> oh, you want to try to drown me? I mean, I don't necessarily want to eat you in the water. It drowned. It waterlogs it. But, you know, relatively, Again, I don't really I would like, like to death off the the table. animals. I, I tend to stick the fingers and, well, you got no fingers. No offense. So you're yeah. not really on the menu. Again, I would like to take death off the table. If he does do trial by combat, death is in the name. Or is implied, anyways. Hmm. Where's the wisdom it, it check? I'm the wisest one until here. Until unconsciousness. Then or prison. Blood. Interesting. Hmm. Dookie, by the way, you have to make yes. a decision. Okay. Let me think about it. I make no decision. No, you must make nice no decision. Nice decision. You must choose. I lay one down. Well, I close my eyes. If you make no decision, we will commence trial by combat. You and I, mono a. You and me, mono. How do we? Please don't hurt my friend, big you? friend. I'll fight the guy. What are we doing? Let's move close to the water, though. I mean, I need a little bit of an advantage. I just, you seem larger than I am. And, That's and true. technically, the size kind of matters in these fights. Hmm. I mean, that is not what my wife tells me. Uh, looks towards uh, the fairy to the right of him. Ma'am, do you care to shrink me with enlarge reduce? Uh, sure. Oh, Thank you. Power. Oh, wow. It's a deer. Where did he go? I am still Big here. Mm -hmm. Just I slightly smaller. Odd. I mean, do you really Dookie. want to fight a lizard man? Dookie, you can still head towards the water. I mean, I think I got it. If he chooses the trial by combat, you can choose the location. That's true. He chose a weird wisdom test. It was less a wisdom test and more of a psychic test. Hmm. <laughs> so I guess you can I choose mean, something weird too. I've already like died you can before. only fight I with mean, one arm. Or something. Die again. Location, Sookie's really. Suki Suki is my sister. She's a little bitch, but hopefully she doesn't <laughs> show up. Oh, here's a good She's one. She's out on you the shores like... these time of year. Strolling. You could be like, you can only use the weapon I'm thinking about. What, the axe sword? What is my oh, weapon? Damn, Bad now he knows what weapon you're thinking about. No. He can oh. choose location. As cheating as this sounds, he can choose underwater. What? 
What about a bubbler? Why? It's like flying. I don't want to kill you, though. I only I only eat things with fingers. Oh, yeah. And, and I have to eat you if I kill you. I don't want to eat you. Perhaps you could bend your own personal rules for this this encounter. Or pay the yeah. fee. Alrighty, if everyone shares, then we could figure it out. Why don't you just fight him and then see what happens? Well, he's gonna die. Not necessarily. You might die. Did, He'll didn't die you? so good, I'll Did, cease to exist. Didn't you set the time at 15 minutes? You can go into the water, go to the bottom, hold your breath. He can't win. This is true. There you go. Can anyone confirm Dookie can hold his breath for 15 minutes? Or is it just something Dookie said? Well, you just... just you can, oh, first you just, I thought you did it. You know, get get cold and so, sit down there. You can use a lizard, not a fish. Yeah, you're not actually um, amphibious. You're just a reptile. Yeah. I'm fast. Let's do it right here. Let's do it. I don't know what I'm doing. I've got an axe in this thing. He's got no hands. He's got no weapons, but his his head. Doki feels like there's probably discrimination here. Very Why, well. The only one who has to fight. <laughs> do you all mind stepping to the side? Oh, yes. Please. There we go. Right. You're not very good at this, but there's one way to learn. Okay. Can I help Dookie I'll hit you with my one-hit combo. It, it either hits and you're going to die, or or I'm going to die. Mm. Uh, this, I thought we this lesson already. This pixie, like, fighting. <laughs> sits on the tree, looks down, notices Nina. Oh, hey, by the way, your crimes have been paid. Um, before you go flying off new, new fairy, uh, did you want any food or to be friends? No, I've seen what you guys done. To the food? In general. I couldn't digest you. The food's good, though. Kind of just weird. I'll take some berries. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Coming again. Dang, mm -hmm. I messed that up again. Oh, too bad he left the cupcakes well, on the ground. They're all now covered here. in ants. No one was eating them anyways, and it's making me sad to think about it. Thank you. I would have taken one if they weren't covered in ants. I asked everyone before they were covered in ants. I am surveilling people. I'm not supposed to jump out. Kind of the entire thing. Oh. <laughs> this white stag does state, Very well, then. Uh, Sir Dookie, you are to go first. You've already chosen the climate of the area. Have at thee. Oh, so no helping. Oh, Includes to... both sides. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I don't really have any, um, anything, any in invested in whether he lives or dies, so. That's mean. It's just a little rude. I know, that's just how I feel. It's just really because he wants to eat my kind doesn't mean that he's bad at heart. I think we should be supportive of anybody on our team. Here we go. If I die, eat me. I'm very no. supportive. I just, I find myself not quite I don't want to be dookie. wasteful. Eat my blood. Start Nina just walks to the side. <laughs> After I I no longer I wanted, so night. I figured I'd come out here because it seemed more fun. <laughs> uh, very well then, Dookie. Have at thee! All right, uh, I shall commence. <laughs> you are to go first. Is it possible to hold? If I have a shield, can I hold my action and just kind of brace with the shield? Redemption. Uh, I'll okay. give the first attack disadvantage. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I would like to see if I can block it. Okay. Uh, and get him in there real close, like. Taking your shield, uh, you create a defensive stance uh, to make sure it doesn't uh, attack you. Or at least, it's harder to hit. Uh, rushes towards you. Uh, thankfully enough, you're not surprised, so it can ambush you. Uh, immediately goes in for its impale attack. It is a plus five to the attack. 23, and it does have disadvantage, so I'm going to roll again and take the lower one. 13. Uh, it immediately bucks into your shield, but you hold strong before it could do any damage. Uh, it can attack you again. 
So with its tail, it swoops over. It turns to the side and just tries to hit you with it. It is another plus five to hit. Uh, you took a defensive stance, so I'll give it disadvantage again. Uh, seven, 24, so we'll take the seven. And again, you block the tail from actually hitting you. Uh, it is your turn again, Duke. God, you're far more dangerous than I expected. I, uh, hmm. Dookie, please don't about die. That. Like Dookie, Dookie, Tell about please. that wisdom like a, challenge. Like nah, never mind. If he's close, I would like to start with my bonus attack, just because he's right there, and give him one bite to the neck. <laughs> okay. And because I'm bad at this, I'll just put bite down there. I don't know what I gotta do. I uh, strength cool. modifier. Uh, so that'd be 1d20 plus your plus three. And I'm pretty sure you're proficient in bite. So another plus two. So a total of five. Plus two. So I got the same. Uh, so that'd be 10. Did the miss. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Then I'll go straight to my battle line. A one hand battle line. Uh, 21 does hit. Nice to get. Uh, it should be a plus two because I got that little special ability. Uh, that'd be a total of eight. Uh, taking your battle axe, you slash into this creature. Uh, it does get hurt, but it is not dead or at death's door. Unfortunately, it's a little hardy. Uh, cutting oh through. Oh my gosh. Well, um, am I able to use my maneuver? Uh, what maneuver? the attack. A menacing attack. When you hit on a creature with a weapon, you can expand your die like to extend. I uh, you can roll. Yeah, you can expand one a uh, superiority die. Uh, add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll, and the target must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, it is fine of you until your next turn. Uh yeah, it will have to make a wisdom saving throw based off of your spell save DC. I uh, go ahead and roll your superiority die. Which I believe is 1d8. I could be wrong. How this one's going? So an additional three damage, uh, slashing into you. And do you, you know Dookie's spell save? No, it was messed up. I don't think we had it on there. It, it, we just went with the basic, I think. Whatever. Uh, I believe that was 14. Was yes, that's what we did. Okay. Uh, wisdom save. Plus two. Okay. Cool. A total of nine. Immediately, it is like frightened by you. Like it stands on its hooves. Uh, attacks against you are at disadvantage for the next round. Uh, it cannot move closer to you. Not that you know that. Uh... <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, then uh, I will, I've used my action surge, so I will hit them one more time. Okay. Uh, 14 is just enough to hit. That is a d20, sir. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. It's not bite. Slash. Uh, I don't know what the plus one comes from. I'm not sure. Might be the weapon. Uh, taking the battle axe. You jam it in there. Uh, slamming hard. He's not dead, or technically, you don't know if it's a he or she or they. Uh, slamming into the creature. It's an elk. Oh, technically, stag. I don't know why I keep going with elk. Uh, slamming into it. It hits hard, but he's not exactly dead. Uh, looking towards you, it is frightened. Oh, nice. I got my little plus two on that, right? A little, yeah, I included it in there. 14. All right. Well, I'd like to use one more superior die and try to kick him away from me. I think I got kick away. Unless I don't have kick away. I don't know. Pushing attack. It's right there. Uh, when you hit what a creature with a weapon attack, you expand one superior die. To, 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 yep. I believe you only have two more superior die after this. I do. We're using them all. Yeah. I got, I've used two. <laughs> okay. It's an eight. Uh, pushing attack. You add the superior die to the attack's damage roll. Uh, so go ahead and roll another d8. If the target is a large or small creature, it is... Medium size. It must make a strength saving throw. On a failed save, you must push the target 15 feet away from you. Uh, and if the target is a large or small, 
that feels so weird to remove medium sized. I'll let it work. Maybe I'll figure that out later. That's weird. Yeah. I'll have him make the save, but it's just weird. Uh, unfortunately, strength is one of its skills that it's good at. Uh, so okay. it's a plus five. It is an animal. Uh, 19, uh, slamming into it, uh, it does take a, an additional four points of damage, but it does not, it's not rebuffed. Still there. Damn. Well, <laughs> you doing okay, animal? Uh, it like neighs, uh, much like a horse in thunder. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I believe that's all for you. Unless you decide to move. That's me. All no. right. Uh, can I move still? I've done a lot of things. You can move I if you desire. My bone is bite earlier. You did. Uh, you can still move. That's still part of your turn. If you Again, if you move yeah. away from him, uh, it would provoke an attack opportunity. How far can I move? Can I move my whole 30? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, yeah I'm moving back 30. Okay. Uh, they're going to try to bite into you. Uh, disadvantage thanks to Frightened. Ba, 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 plus five. Natural 20. 21 hits. Thankfully enough, it's not a natural 20, though. So it only okay. hits for still a good amount of damage. Oh, boy. Uh, hit plus five. One or a creature that is restrained by blood. Uh, that is 1d6 plus three piercing damage plus 2d6 necrotic damage. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, why, why uh, wait, am I rolling these? No, rolling I'm rolling these. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, so you take roll. eight so piercing damage. Yeah. And uh, afterwards, you take an additional nine uh, necrotic damage. Uh, the target's Lovely. hit point maximum is reduced by the amount equal to the necrotic damage taken. So you cannot heal up all the way. Uh, okay. I can heal. Yeah. But you are down to the number you're at. And you can only heal up at this point. Uh, four HP from where you're standing. So it's not great. It's not good. Uh, if you are reduced to zero hit point maximum, you just straight up die. So be careful for that. Oh. Okay. Go do that. Uh, you run away, and now it's his actual turn. Unfortunately, it cannot move closer to you. <laughs> Lovely situation. Uh, I will state that it does have a thing it can use to literally appear next to you. But I feel like that's kind of cheating. So it's just going to, like, <laughs> uh, air quotes, get closer by just moving slightly to the left. Oh, I guess that is closer. Well, everybody, I'm going to go drown myself. Uh, on your turn, the fright... Turn? Yeah, on your turn, uh, the frightened condition is removed. Even better. How far out here can I get? Uh, you can go... How deep is this pond? It's 30 feet deep. Is it 30 feet, feet deep right here? Uh, it'd be like 15 feet there. Yeah. Could I just go... 15 feet down from here? Sure. I'm out. I'm going to hold my breath. Uh, you're out. Uh, and jump into the water. Uh, anything else you do, Dookie? No, I'm just I'm as deep as I'm laying flat on the bottom. I'm scared. Okay. Uh, well, I did in my own way try to warn you of what will happen next turn uh oh, okay. the stag uses its blood recall ability uh, as a bonus action can teleport to a creature within 60 feet of it that doesn't have uh all its hit points and you don't i do and make one impale attack it's all right you try it <clears throat> uh, no fins so i mean you can't hold its breath forever <laughs> 
certainly not 15 minutes if you can hold out for 15 minutes. Uh, That's true. We just got to keep missing. Blinking out of existence and then reappearing next to you. You just get oh, potentially hit by uh, its goring impale attack. It does have a plus five to hit, but your DC is pretty high. AC is pretty high. It's high. It's way up there. <laughs> Weird how that happens when you put armor on. I know. And uh, 15. Uh, ramming into you, you take your shield and it just rebuffs beside it. Uh, as that happens, it just aims straight towards you and to try to get a bite into you. It's plus five to this attack. Uh, 21 does hit, unfortunately. Uh, so that is, again, 1d6 plus three piercing damage. Uh, seven. And then 2d6 necrotic damage. Eight. Product damage is the worst. Yeah. Uh. So nine eight. Uh. Currently, you, your max HP is twenty nine. And we can't intervene in any way. Uh. Not without breaking the code of conduct. You can. That's. I'm not telling you you can't, but that's basically the rule stipulation. Gotcha. Well. If he's right next to me, I would like to do a uh, hungry jaws. Yep, it is your turn now. It is a bite. I think this is the one I use the D20 for. Mm, uh, don't forget to it's remove. A... Okay, cool. It just appeared on my <laughs> uh, list. Uh, that's it four plus anyways. five. That is nine. Does not hit. Okay, then. Uh, then Nina, as you like get closer, you... you're seeing a lot of blood beginning Second to rise. Wind. And on my attack, I show you second wind. All right. I don't know how much I could get left, but I three three so plus a modifier, I believe. Up. Your fighter level, so that'd be three plus four, total of seven. Okay. Uh, using second wind, you uh, heal yourself for some. It's not nothing, but this thing is hitting hard. <laughs> hitting hard. <laughs> We do. Got no other special abilities. <laughs> can I'd I take like a deep into the cast stance? Something. Can I try to avoid everyone's detection? Depends on what you're trying to do. I'm trying to do this. Can I disguise it as an awful black sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ray of Enfeeblement. <laughs> Uh, the components you need are vocal and somatic, which means you need to wave your hands and literally vocalize the spell. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. What about this I think one? I get all that. It's fine. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna trip and fall though. L. <laughs> I'm not saying no. Uh, you can roll stealth to see how hard it can be. Bad. I feel bad with making the lizard folk fight. I know. I'm too. You guys had options. <laughs> the stack was cool. He was so flexible. Then Dookie will survive. We'll take your body to the priest and can heal you back up. Uh, Dookie, you bit. You healed yourself. Uh, you do have your main action left. Can I take another defensive action? Yeah, you can take a defensive stance. Can I curl up in a ball? Yeah, my hard scales on the outside, my shield on the front side. Just kind of sitting there all scared, like holding my breath and closing my eyes. Uh, you try to surround your body with the shield as close as possible, so it's harder to hit you. Okay. I say I'm dying, but no one can hear me. Uh, blah, 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 is what they hear. <laughs> uh, on the stag's turn, it will have to make a con save. I'd like to jump into the water and hope I can startle the stag. You were 15 feet down, you're a horse, you can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying here. Uh, Roll performance. Okay. Why don't you take its wife hostage? I can't say anything. You're not trying to hit it, which is enough of a bending of the rules. True. 
Uh, DC to be 14. I hit nice, the wrong you. one. Sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Damn. Ah. Uh. <laughs> like a horse in water. That's a four. That's uh, bad. as you splash into the water, uh, Nina be attempts to potentially sneeze, realizes there's too many things that are happening, so does not cast a spell. Uh, stag too deep, uh, does not hear it, so goes in for a, uh, tail attack against Dookie. And uh, that's a plus Dude, five. Dude, don't have tails! I understand this. The creature I'm using has a tail for some reason. Just wild animal. I'm trying I to see a tail on him. <laughs> it's a Pokemon. It's kind of like a Pokemon, yeah. Uh, I'll just show you what you're facing. I honestly thought you guys would face it kind of together, or at the very least, three of you. Well, wow. everyone else chose to pay. It's a lot scarier. It looks more like a deer in this other picture. He decided to lay down on the ground and do nothing. <laughs> well, it looks a lot more aquatic in this photo. Don't so pay somebody for me. Uh, it's known as a blood stag. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, uh, I does have a tail attack. The nice tail attack. Mm -hmm. uh, plus five to hit. Da, 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 da. 24. Make... However, you did get in a defensive stance, so I will roll again and take the lower of the two. <laughs> so powerful. I don't even think it's going to be lower. 13. Uh, smashing into your uh, shield. It like hits you hard, but not enough to displace you. Uh, a little bit. It like wavers you through the water, but not enough to like jet propel you. Uh, and it's gonna just try to bite you. Dude, Plus five yeah, disadvantage. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. I dropped it. Just. Oh, How I live, play? I'm gonna bite it back. I got one more bite I, left. I would like to try to. I would like to Eating try to stealthily. In his mouth. I would like to stealthily cast blindness, deafness on the stag. Uh, how do you do Stash. it? By whispering. Mm. <laughs> just verbal. Just verbal. Everybody, good time. Roll stealth. Thank you. I have an idea. I'm I know you guys so can't see what's going it. on up there, but in the ether, it's going really poorly. <laughs> I'd Can like, I still roll? I'd, I'd also like to stealth. Uh, there it is. Them. 18. Uh, 18. 18 is pretty good. Uh, and I figured it out. Yes, Nina. Catapult. Uh, A cupcake. Cupcake. <laughs> uh Roll stealth, <laughs> because you only need to, like, hide your arms to what they're doing. <laughs> Chunk that cupcake right, right towards the mouth. Uh, Wait, roll stealth to do it. Back. <laughs> there it is. Uh, nice, that's pretty good as well. Uh, using catapult, you will lunge straight towards uh, this creature. Uh, now it knows its own allergies. It's not gonna keep its mouth open. <laughs> However, Andromeda. Uh, what kind of save, if any, this thing needs to make? Right. Um, come save. Do keep my A gold cake. Constitution saving throw. DC 14. Okay. Uh, con save. It has a plus three. Uh, that's a four. Uh, <laughs> as it goes in to try to uh, bite into Dookie, uh, Nina throws a hurls truly a uh, cupcake straight towards the creature. Uh, that's his eye. Immediately, Andromeda casts a spell behind it, deafening and blinding this creature. Uh, not really aware of what's coming towards it. It already has its maw open, biting into Dookie at the exact same time that Nina hurled a uh, cupcake. I uh, want to be just blinded. Oh. 
It says yeah. choose one, so I choose blind. Blinded, uh, not realizing what it's doing, it frantically uh, opens its mouth, allowing the cupcake okay. to go inside. Uh, Dookie does still take the damage, but something does happen outside of just the damage. Uh, so Dookie, you took uh, four. four, and then another two d6 necrotic damage. Well, uh, two d6 necrotic uh, damage. Five. Oh. Oh. So a total of nine. You go off this dude, gay. The cupcake gets lodged into his form. Uh, immediately, nearly immediately. Uh, it honestly would take longer, but we're in combat. Uh, immediately, it like swells up his uh, throat. On the next round, he will have disadvantage on everything. He will try to reach the surface because he has lost his breath. Uh, if he does not, he will sustain 2d8 points of... Uh, let's call it bludgeoning. Uh, bludgeoning damage as he's just trying to get back to the surface. Uh, and all attacks that he makes are at disadvantage until he uh, gets medicine for this. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Dookie. Well, uh, uh, before he gets up there, I'd like to give him another bite. Try to get a little bit of help off of him by eating one of his non-existent fingers. I'll throw it out there. It's nine this time. Mm. Uh, nine plus, <laughs> I believe, five? So that'd be 14. Uh, so that's enough to hit it. No. Well, that's hungry jaws. It's hit. What it does, I don't know. But where is it at? <laughs> uh, I temporarily get HP equal to my constitution modifier. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's what? Three? <laughs> uh, if that's your con modifier, even, yeah. Can I even get three though with all this necrotic damage? It's fair. This time. is temp HP. This is different. Uh, so yeah, okay. you what? I mean, six is something. Six is something. Oh, can, can, I I can I swim deeper? You can. Yeah. I try to swim as deep as I can go. I don't know how deep it is. I, I feel like it's over here. When does Dookie run out of air? Fifteen minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> rushing out into the pool area. Uh, oh no. She has music, but no words. Sounds. I don't know what kind of music she's listening to. I heard a. I heard a hang up. Discord. Though, I think it's Discord. Yeah. She, oh yeah. Looks like she left she's the. It's um, not. Yeah. He's got, he's got reach uh, this guy's gonna try to swim upwards. Uh, will be a athletic check. Will be disadvantage. Uh, has plus three. Uh, it's not raging whirlpool, so I'm gonna set the DC at ten. Uh, fourteen. And 14 is the lowest. Uh, is It was only 15 feet, so it can swim up until it can breathe. Uh, and as it does so, it's kind of having an allergic reaction or attack, and it's not about to fight because it, you know, wants to live. Uh, and it's also kind of panicking. Uh, as it, like, goes out of the water, it, like, screeches out. Uh, the contest has concluded. Uh, and this fairy, uh, Pixie, technically, rushes over and gives him his EpiPen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Damn. You have a pistachio EpiPen. So sorry about the cakes again. I feel as though this one's on me. Uh... Your cake. <laughs> well, that's gonna be a crawl. I would, um, discontinue the, the spell if I sense that the fighting is over. Yeah. And I would like to make it so that it seems like he was only blinded because he was running out of air. Like, Bro! spots in his vision and <laughs> clearing out loud. 
Okay. Yeah, do it. Uh, you can either roll <laughs> Deception really cool. or Arcana. Uh -huh. Arcana. Ooh. It's pretty good. Uh, you stabilize it in a way where it seems that the ordeal was not of your doing. Uh, it's much like when... I actually don't know much of how when people go into shock, but I imagine a lot of things happen. People go into a state of panic, fight or flight. Uh, so he's not even thinking, oh, someone clearly played a trick. It's more like, oh... Dookie clearly took one of the cupcakes before going down into the water and stuffed my face in with it. Well, that wasn't... It was a dirty trick, but nonetheless, he did succeed. <laughs> if anyone was around and it wouldn't completely give the, the trick away, I would have said I actually reached in and with my necromancy, pinched his optic nerve for a moment. And it literally... Yes. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Again, I say this to myself. I don't say this out loud. And Nina's like right next to you. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm I like whispered Nina. I whispered Nina. I feel <laughs> internally, I'm like, oh my god, I think I might have killed the deer. Wait, it, it's Duke, <laughs> is Dookie surfaced or is he still underwater? No, he's still underwater. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I think it's come back. Uh, the pixie <laughs> to the right. Uh, we wait 15 minutes? <laughs> Who can go get him? <laughs> uh, the pixie removes uh, an large reduce on the stag, uh, causing it to expand to its normal form. Uh, also, just for clarification, I did cut his HP in half. Uh, okay. <laughs> so Dookie had a chance, but it still hurts. The thing still should have been faced by more than one person. <laughs> Uh, the chronic damage, I had no chance. <laughs> <laughs> you could have chosen not to fight it. Yeah. So uh, when, yeah. The stag yeah. does state. Uh, very well. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Still a little bit of stash was in there. Uh, one thing. While your friend did play a dirty trick, it was not specified in the rules. So it's kind of, it's not cool, but he did win. You're right. Elements oh. more cool than murder. <laughs> Dookie puts on sunglasses for some reason. Uh, very well then. All debts are paid. Except between mm. each other. You kind of owe a lot of money between each other, but that's not my issue. Yes, well. Wait, who owes people money? Jay. Nobody owes anyone money except for you. But you owe me money. Uh, the pixie cast. You owe money as well. Uh, <laughs> no, he does not owe you money. He owes me money. He owes me money. No. You owe hey, Anna money. Hey, I don't owe anyone money. You I do. never. I, I never. I never said anything about money. And I think Nina has a lot of money. I don't have <laughs> any money. Yes, you do. Hey, Nina lost all her money. Oh, she did? I lost a lot of it. Not all of it. Quite poor now. I went to. I, w I was blessed at the Temple of Poverty. Does that uh, thing scream <laughs> has a lot of money? 15 minutes later, Dookie does resurface. I'm making about there. Oh my Dookie, god. Dookie, you won. Dookie, you look awful. You've lost a lot of time. Again, I thought my power was greater than they were. The ability to hold my breath 15 minutes doesn't matter. If it's covered <laughs> in spikes, it can teleport and poison you at the same time. This is true. <laughs> However, it did have to okay. abandon. I've also realized that my face is quite small for a lizard person, and it makes it very difficult to actually physically bite something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> You got a no bite in. Alive. You're alive. Without you, we'd have no mascot besides Jupiter. <laughs> and unlike Jupiter, you, you just say just a few words, but they're funny. You have my, my body. Words. You could probably sell it what? and eat huh? parts that are eatable. I'm glad you're here, Dookie. I wish you'd chosen. I really thought I was a goner. Fine. Or so too. Where did Mental it go, though? Is it over? You didn't have to fight Is him. Sure, it's not gonna come out and right over here and kill me. 
I, mean, I, I got the mental challenge right. Nobody gave me credit for that. You did wonderfully, the Anna. However, it, it wasn't your turn, I guess. No, but he asked, and I said seven, and that was it his was number. Mm -hmm. yes. It was seven, always yeah. Seven. The answer was always seven. Oh my yeah, god! It was always seven. The dice tried to kill me. Uh, silver tried to save you. You could have you. probably also thought about it. He did give you a hint. What? The dice tried to kill me. You what? You kind of a the whole time. Did yeah, it, it's we a... got cleansed and everything. We did everything right there. And yeah, the, he is almost alive. The stack said like, um, I've already said it. I already said the number. Yeah. yeah. And I got it. Oh, I didn't hear that part. I thought okay. you said that he had yeah. decided the number before. He did. Uh, and he already said it was the hint. No, I didn't hear the hint. Oh, well. <laughs> it's okay. I, I, wasn't gonna, you heard it either. I wasn't going to cheat, but at the sure, exact same time, words. if you were paying attention to the dialogue, <laughs> you would have gotten it. Jupiter has to have tough time paying attention to the dialogue since he's always dialoguing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, it's monologuing. It's quite different because he's not paying attention to anyone else but himself. True. Uh, Dookie, you are sub oh, you did survive. Is. On a long rest, you will get your full HP back. You don't lose it permanently, which is right. good. Unless you died, then you straight up lose it permanently because you're dead. Do, that's true. Do I have now a, a stronger resistance to necrotic damage since I have taken so much of it? No, but you now fear it. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's good. Uh, Vera does state, uh, besides all that, we kind of are now more in the red than we were beforehand. Uh, Nina, you still owe our side of the group money, and now Jupiter owes Andromeda 99 gold and 3 silver. Y'all all owe me 100 gold. Look, Saved if... it. I don't want it, though. If, if I owe anyone money, the only it's way I'll give it to you is if we have trial by combat. <gasps> uh, you do owe Anna no, money? No more trials by well, combat. You no, owe Anna 50 gold. 50 gold. 50 gold. You paid for about you trial by combat. I'm not giving 50 gold to Anna. You, she paid for you. How much money do I have? How much money do you have? <laughs> I would like to say that I hope you all learned a lesson today. 117 what? gold. What's the lesson? Out. What was the, the lesson for you, was Duke, is that, that there are consequences <laughs> for your actions and that I'm not going to cover for you. Hey, pay some Wait, money I no matter what it is they me. ask for, and no matter you how absurd the number is, honest, and then just and hide and yes, take I stab you. wounds until they run away. <laughs> and all of it's been avoided if you hadn't eaten pixies. Need the we'll heaviest leave. armor you can find. We'll I really like their home. stronger when I don't move. Leave the lesson that you alone. must learn for today is that you won't need armor if you don't eat pixies. I think we lost more money than we'd make in a year on this one mission. <laughs> <laughs> we still have the disappearing guy trying to find us. We're back, Martha. Oh, no, we finished the mission. We did it, but we lost <laughs> our money. So at least you get to see. It needs uh, to be the compensation of 450 gold. <laughs> the invisible guy will find you guys later. <laughs> That's a problem for another day. The guy, he, he hit. He's being chased. Yeah. Uh, whether or not he finds you again, he could just be... He could have just been caught. Uh, we'll find out later. <laughs> uh, you guys make it back. Uh, Martha does state, uh, Yes, I can see that missive was sent to us that you brought... Uh, the merchant to the next town and Miss Andromeda's own team was given compensation for their uh, laboratory work. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, we do we have... We get compensation for our return home. We came back in so... <laughs> in like one piece except for Duke. The so merchant had breaking. your payment. It was your choice to return or not. If I said he never gave it to us, would you follow up on that? No. He never gave it to us. That's too bad. <laughs> uh, take it up with him. <laughs> oh, I know. Right. We I have a few go. missions, but based on how 
poorly you all look, I suggest you take a good long rest. I'm gonna need a long, long rest because, Martha, just between you and me, we're extremely poor. This job is not lucrative at <laughs> all. <laughs> I think we've done really good. Right, well. Adam, you still seeing somebody? Not anyone in particular. Whoopsies, I was a little too strong. How about you see me for a bit? We could have move in together, share our bank accounts. Little two forwards? Perhaps just starting off as friends. Share bank account type of friends? Mm, <laughs> no. Go and play how to get then, Adam. <laughs> uh, Martha just stayed right. Well, anyways, get a good rest. We'll see what happens tomorrow morning. My date, I forgot about it. We also <laughs> didn't return to the guards, and we're probably wanted. Wait, what was that? Uh, and with that, <laughs> we end the session for tonight. <laughs>